In this video, we're going to perform a 10 minute exercise session that will help you reduce your blood pressure. Now, the best exercise to reduce blood pressure are the isometric exercises. Now, what's an isometric exercise, you may ask? Well, it's when you contract your muscles and you don't actually move any body part. Let me show you the concentric and eccentric exercise first. Take, for example, my bicep. When I curl my arm up, I'm performing a concentric exercise. When I extend my elbow, I'm performing an eccentric exercise. When I perform an isometric exercise, I'm flexing the bicep. Now, this is great because when we perform isometric exercises, we actually restrict blood flow to the muscle for the time being while we're performing the exercise. Then, once we stop the exercise, the blood surges through the blood vessels, causing the blood vessels to relax. And this lowers your blood pressure. In addition to that, isometric exercises are very low impact exercises. So if you have any trouble with arthritis or joint pain, or discomfort altogether, these exercises are great. You're going to perform a low impact exercise which will lower your blood pressure and keep you improving your overall energy. All right, let's get to it. The first exercise we're going to do is the isometric squat. So get against the wall, feet shoulder width apart, in line with each other, get your head and shoulder blades against the wall and squat down. Now we're holding this for a full minute. If you start to get tired, it's okay if you come up a little bit and continue holding, but really try to get yourself in that position and stay there. Now, what we're doing is we're isometrically holding the quadriceps. The hamstrings are kicking in there a little bit as well. And these big muscles are restricting blood flow to the area temporarily. Once we release, we're going to get that surge of blood through the blood vessels, which will help relax the blood vessels and improve our blood pressure. It'll lower it down. So keep breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth and keep holding this. All right, you're doing great. We're almost there. And good, come up, shake that off, Whew. and we'll move on to the next one. The next exercise we're going to do are the calf raise holds. So get your feet about shoulder width apart, go up on your toes, and we hold for a full minute. Now, if you need, you can always hold on to a chair or support. If you're going to hold a chair, make sure it doesn't roll. Uh, or you can do this against your kitchen counter or your bathroom counter or a desk or anything that gives you support. You can also do it like I'm doing it as you advance. So again, we're really isometrically holding the calf muscle. You may see my calves, my uh, toes wiggling a bit because I'm trying to hold my balance. And this is going to, again, restrict that blood to the calf and then once we release it will surge the blood through the blood vessels almost there and good you can relax shake that off and move it on to the next one the next exercise we're going to do are the planks so let's do this for a full minute you want to get on your forearms and then you want to get on your toes, your feet together, suck in your stomach and hold that. Now, if this is too challenging, you can always get onto your knees and hold it from your knees to your forearms. This will make it a lot easier and in time you can progress to this step. If 
This is really targeting all of the core, all the way through the feet into the lower leg, upper leg, through the trunk, into the upper and lower arms. It's a great exercise. All right, we're getting there. Keep breathing. If you shake a little, it's okay. <clears throat> okay, great. Let's move on to the next one. The next exercise we're going to do are the side planks. So what you want to do is get on your forearm, straighten your body out, feet together, hand on your hip, and we're going to lift up. And we're going to hold this for one minute. Now, if this is too challenging, what you could do is bend your knees and put weight through your knees. This will still challenge the trunk and your arm, and it'll keep you in a good isometric uh, position. Then you can always progress towards this. If you want to bring your hand like that, that's fine too. Just keep breathing, because this is a challenging one. There we go. Shaking is okay, of course. Remember to keep breathing. We're almost there. Okay, great. Moving on to the next. Well, we did one side, we have to do the other side. So let's get our forearm on the floor, feet out, hand on our hips, and come up. And we're going to hold for one minute. This is too challenging. Just put the support on your knees. This is actually the most challenging exercise we're going to do today. So if you could get through this one, you're doing really well. Almost there, got a few more seconds. Okay, great job. Move to the next one. The next exercise are the glute holds. Basically what we're gonna do is get into a bridge position and hold it. So. Get our feet about shoulder width apart, knees parallel to each other, lay down, arms on the floor, and bridge up. And we're going to hold this position. Remember to keep breathing, it's very important. That'll bring oxygen through your body by bringing it through your blood to the different muscle groups. And even though we're restricting the blood flow to the contracted muscles, we still need that oxygen to flow through our muscles and our brain. We're not restricting all of the blood. We're just doing it to a certain extent where when we release, we get that surge of blood flow. Almost there. Okay, and done. Great job with those exercises. You just completed the 10 minute exercise routine that'll help decrease your blood pressure and improve your overall energy levels. Now, if you weren't able to get the full minute, that's fine. Just do as much as you can. And of course, you could always customize it with those modifications that I showed you. 
as you continue to progress with this, you'll notice that you're getting improved with even your breathing as well as your muscle strength. And by doing this consistently every day for four to six weeks, you're going to see a great improvement in your blood pressure. Now, I'd love it if you continue to do this and comment below. Let me know how these feel. Let me know if your blood pressure has dropped and let me know any questions you may have. All right. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care.